You guys know. You guys remember Brian? Not happy right now. <laughs> not happy. I am not a morning person. One. This is the earliest I wake up to do anything of this kind. Yeah, we got the shaft today. I'm on the team from San Diego, Mr. Brian Reifus. Woo! Party Boys. Brian, you want, to, power. you want to say what's up to the people? Yeah, how you guys doing? Uh, wow, thank you for the invite. This, you know, as they say, if you ball, you're gonna get the call. So <laughs> they called me up last night, said they were coming up here. We couldn't have Marco and my bro just have all the fun out here today. So <laughs> P and I are gonna come out here, show them what time it is. You know, we'll probably take a few bucks off of them. A little cash money. <laughs> have fun here. This is a little bit of an old course that I know pretty well. So. Beast Key's reliving his college days. They used to play out here all the time. So he's out here marching orders, barking orders. Look at these two amateurs. I can almost guarantee you that they're gonna lose this hole after this little workout session. Come on, come on, B, do some work. It's all carry. Uh, gotta hit a nice little cut over this bridge around the trees and hopefully it lands soft. Started at the bunker on the left, it's cutting. All right, B's getting serious down there. He's in the water. He's gonna play it. And this is gonna be great. I think he should just take a drop. Play it smart. But he's gonna, he's gonna go after this one here. I feel like the mud's gonna hit him right in the face though. You're right in the grill. Right in the face. In the face! No! <laughs> oh, he carried it. Oh, oh. oh, he's in some grass over there. Oh, that's awesome. That's gonna be. That's gonna be even better. That's gonna be fun. All right. Savage that's gonna be a tough up and down. He's gonna have to flop this straight up in the air with a lot of spin. Oh, he did. Oh, he did. Oh, oh what a shot right there. Oh, Bisky took it right at the flag. It's looking really good. Hit a club. Oh, Boom. it's all over it. Great shot. How does Bisky get the calf stretch down? That's, it. that's how. That's how we started out right there. A little calf stretch. Yeah. Yeah. Going to be working these bad boys a lot today. <laughs> Let's check out B's stretching routine right here. <laughs> For you young guys out there, the coach is going to show you a little stretchy move right here. <laughs> <laughs> or the old guys. <laughs> Get the hamstrings going, you know, just gotta warm them up. <laughs> Coach, working the glutes, you are activating it right now. Alright, grinder five. <laughs> That's how quick you can make bogey out here at Tory, man. Get cute with a wedge and try to attack a pin and. Oh, he hit that so good. Wow. Uh, a plus. Brian just had a beautiful little up and down out of the bunker for a parsky. Get out of the beach. Oh, great touch. Very nice. Pretty good. It's got about a six footer. Oh, oh what a shot. Bisky didn't get so lucky. Caught this ridge and it just funneled in. As you guys can see he's about six foot one and uh, he can't probably barely see the top of this flag and he does not have the easiest of shots here. You got a wall right in front of you, you got to go straight up with this. It's going to take its full attention. Look at that, he just accelerated through that. Wow, what a shot B.
And really well done right there. Wow. Yeah, what an effort right there. You ski. Is that a bird? Yep. Nicely done, dude. Yep. As my good caddy said, putter is always an option out here. <laughs> Never thought I'd be putting one from 41 yards out, but it was the right play. <laughs> oh yeah, this one's going right at it. It's the right stick, it's gonna be nice. Oh yeah, beautiful. Should be all over Good it. Good shot, Beeski. Did it go in? It went in, dude. Yeah! <laughs> Keep going right at it. <laughs> Boom! Beeski, uh, he looks like he brought the swing all the way from San Diego. That's it, baby. Like that? Okay. How are you gonna do that to your bro right there? That's it. Uh, all good stuff. Chipping away. Way to carry the team. <laughs> uh, nice read. Thank you. I totally made a mistake there, guys. I did not see this big ridge, and when it went over, it looked like it disappeared into the hole because it was right at it. So the, the golf gods were teasing us a little bit. There. A little bit there. I mean, one hop and it disappeared, so it looked like it went in. <laughs> sure did. You're due, man. You've I had know. you've had some chances, you know. I'm grinding. Yeah, I'm grinding pars. <laughs> pars are good right now. Wind is uh, picking up. Why don't you walk us through what you just did there? Just walked up, 226, huge crosswind, just pulled out my four. I, I play a natural fade, so just kind of rode the lightning all the way in, just took it over that bunker and just let it come in and landed real soft and finally hit a decent shot. It's tough today with these winds. Wind, wind's really kicked up. Uh, I got 135 left and And there you go. The wind is getting even stronger, fully exposed on 18. Got 139, I'm gonna hit a four iron. That is probably gonna be the best shot of the day right there. Oh, you hit a good one. Oh, oh my gosh, what a golf shot that was. Look at that touch. Nice touch, dude. Oh, he went high with it. Look at that shot. Perfection. Oh, a little skivvy? Oh, that was great. Be the B usually has a whistle that everybody loves. So if you hit a good shot and B ends up seeing it and it's really good, he'll whistle for you. And if you don't know, now you know. Touch, dude. Ooh, Beesky's been having some great hands this morning. What a golf shot that was. Go in. Did it. Bingo. Nice shot, dude. Go in. Oh. oh. Wow. What a shot right there. I got 117 to a sneaky little front pin and the play is really to kind of take it over the pin and kind of suck it back. I'm kind of in between clubs right now so we'll see what happens with this one. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to go long and bring it back. That's the right play. Oh, Brian hit a nice ball in here. Started just a little bit left of the pin, fading right at it. Down. This looks awesome. He fully utilized that back ridge, spun it off of there. Little tour sausage, and it's about 10 feet. Nice shot. Started at middle of the green with a nice buttery cut. This looks really good. Oh go. uh, yeah, a little long, a little little suck back, and uh, there you go. That's how it's done. <laughs> 218. Nice dude. Um, still a little uphill, probably playing about 225 as a you know back right pin. I play a fade, so I'm gonna go for it. See if I can get something in there. Maybe get a gorilla. All right, we forgot to mention we're playing dots today. Yep, we sure are. I need redemption because I got my butt kicked out at uh, Marco's Club at Santa Luz about a month ago. So maybe get on the board with a dot. Mm -hmm. My God, I have zero dots right now. It's brutal. Mm, nice birdie. That's a three dotter right there. That... Gorilla, sticky, and a birdie. <laughs> that was worth some cash. I'm coming for coach today. Mm. Ryan wore the nice yellow shirt and. Uh... In respect for uh, Jack Nicholas, the designer of this beautiful course. Started in the middle of the green with a nice high cut. And this thing is looking pretty good. It's gonna be close. Yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna be close. I try to knock this one down just the way Coach likes it, so not get too crazy. All right. 
Oh, Brian hit this thing 15 stories up in the air, headed at the bunker on the left with a nice little fader raid. Oh, mama, what a good golf shot right there. This thing looks close. a little turkey cooking. Bam, Beeski for the birthday birdie. That's called the triple B. Beeski hit an awesome drive up here with this three wood. He's got what, 110 left? Yeah, Mike's got 110. I got about the same distance, maybe a couple yards shorter. Back, right, sneaky pin. So just gonna try to aim at the middle of the green. Hit a nice one here. Just fading over towards the flag. Looks really good. Sit. Oh, excellent shot. Go in. Oh, man. <laughs> and all right, B has a little kick in bird. Marco's just coming down the hill. All right, good three. Really cool. Um, I think it's an iron statue, some sort of metal that's up about 325 yards up on the hill here. You'll see it will circle around after it drives, and I think it's kind of a replica of Jack. Um, it's pretty cool. Brian had a killer drive here. He outdrew me by a good 20 yards, maybe a little more. What'd you have left? Uh, I got 90 left, so when I get that 324. Superhero cake. Let's get that. Hold on. Boom. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice towel, actually. Dude, I yeah. love these towels. You don't have one, JC? Dude, we gotta get you one. And we got some fresh bag tags for you guys in the store. Golfholics.com. Swoop one up. Be. Thanks, boss. You know, not too bad. Uh, I know you guys are going to try to David Toms it over there, so I'm going to try to give the old Phil Mickelson from 274. Let's see if this can get on the green. Get that gorilla dot right now. Yeah. All right, guys, that last hole that we just played, that was actually hole 15, so I played the wrong hole. It kind of sums up the day right now. <laughs> sums it up real well. <laughs> All right, so we got two holes wrong. The last two holes that we played which I'm gonna edit to make it seem correct, but we, we totally screwed up. We were on hole 14, we played 15. We, we thought we were on the 10th hole when we teed off, but we were not. So, we got a long way to go. Oh, boy. All right, Brian, what happened back there, dude? Talk us through this nonsense. Uh, what happened was is we decided to get a little bit of food at the turn and got uh, a little comatose there. <laughs> Cheers, let's turn this uh, backside around. Yeah, let's do this. Ah, uh, the billion dollar beer. So delicious. Tastes worth every penny. B ski with a little drop ah. kick ski. Headed for the bunker on the right. But guess what, B? Guess what we got? A couple John Daly's oh coming right gosh. up. It just got serious. <laughs> Well, John Definitely Daly. Another JD. Take two weeks off and quit. Wow. Dude. Oh. Dude. Woo. Give that boy another JD. Oh, man, that thing looked good from the beginning. Give me a double on the double. Oh, my God. I know the feeling, Beeski. It's all right. I know the feeling. It's all right. It's all right. Real estate market's good though. That's it. <laughs> Business has been good. Golf game's been bad. So when the golf game is good and I'm shooting low scores, that means business is bad. Take two weeks off and quit. You're trying in the right direction. This guy just, uh, he went from the fadeaway. <laughs> if I could only drink in college, I get up every morning and just piss excellence. All right, B's got 100. He's a little hungover. I don't know how much talking he's going to do today. A little comatose there. And teed off at the wrong box and went down the wrong fairway. Actually, we teed off at the right box. It's a, it's a split box, but we just went down the wrong fairway. We were supposed to go to the left as opposed to where we went, which was on the right. So we had to tee off again. b has decided to go left side of the fairway. Really rare. There's no wind right now. Tees are playing a little bit up. Why not? Yeah, you got the length, big dog. We don't often talk about the left side of the fairway here, but... Oh, she just cut the corner and crushed wow, it. So Down the left side, and they're gonna have like 110 yards no in. 
I'll be hit that really well. Uh, right up the middle with the slight fade. It should be, uh, oh my gosh. should be middle of the fairway. Bieski hit another one, 320, right down the middle. He doesn't need any roll. He just flies it here. I don't know, man. I got. I don't think I can get home, but I'm gonna give it a go. I think I can clear the. Uh, there's a dry wash, just short of the green. I think I can get over that. And that's kind of my goal. Yes, sir. Sure. Pure. As good as I can hit a three. Pured way. right down the middle. <laughs> Unbelievable shot, guys. It's as good as I can hit it. Nice shot, buddy. Thanks. Wow. You've been really good today, B. Thanks, man. This course is a blast to play. Definitely recommend coming out here. We'll definitely come back out here again. Just so beautiful, the scenery, the backdrop. Um, the course is in just immaculate condition. I mean, tee to green, everything is in pure shape. Uh, put this on your bucket list if you're coming out to Phoenix. It's definitely a must play. What is that, sandpiper? Oh, you know it, dude. Mm. Mm. It's a beautiful Love me course. Love some sandpiper up in Santa Barbara. Justin, I did that a few years ago. <laughs> There's literally a tee box yeah, on the beach. The like you're on the sand, <laughs> the water's rolling up probably 30 yards away from you and you're like, it's pretty nuts. Beautiful course, go play it, you'll love it. All right, Bieski, what's your impression of this golf course? Wow, um, really traditional classic. It's really all right in front of you. Much more undulated than I anticipated that you can't see really on TV. Gorgeous course, just something that's well manicured constantly. I mean, the greens are impeccable. Just such a fun course to play. Just a classic beauty is the best way to describe this. I love it. So coach wants us to do a what's in the bag. And I'm just, we're not gonna get into it too deep here, but I just wanna say that B's head cover game is a 10, right? Beth Page, Bandon, and Pasa Tiempo. And by the way, he'll rotate them on you. He's got Probably, he could probably rotate head covers three times, and all these head covers are a 10. Hardest place to win a US Open. Hope not. Can't wait for some Torrey Pines wet rough mm. at 6.30 in the morning. Of course, it's gonna be 7,400 yards, playing like 8,000 today. <laughs> coach getting a little weird coach down there. <laughs> Gotta warm up those legs. Short in the middle of the green with a nice buttery fade. This looks really good, head right at it. Go in. It went in, dude. Yeah! Woo! Looks good, it's drawing right towards the hole. It's on the number, shot. Bieski's down here just chopping it up with the starter. I know it, baby. Let's Being go. with the locals. Good to see you again, B. I am fired up to be out here and working my buns off, so I'm gonna enjoy it today with you guys. It's gonna be a good day. Haven't played out Madaris in a few months, so of course looks absolutely pure. Ooh, Bieski hit this one middle of the green, fading over, looking good. Oh yeah, it's all over it. Did it go in? It went in, dude. Yeah! Guys, Bieski. Literally crushed just as far as I think you can hit a golf ball. Is coach up there? Yeah, he's up there. All right, I got uh, 211 there. Yeah, I got 205 right here. So I'm just going to hit a four iron on the green. All right, start it up on the left. You need to get up over that bunker. If it's enough, it's going to be nice. It is. It's kicking right. Feeding towards the hole. Still rolling. Still rolling. Still rolling. <laughs> I don't know if you guys met Brian. This is Mike's older and better looking brother. <laughs> there he is. Well said. Thank you, sir. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at you guys just teaming up. Why don't we play some teams then Let's since we're it. all so Let's frisky? I've been watching this you know? guy hitting the ball pure all the time. You guys yeah. are playing like well, four times like a week. Oh, gosh. Maybe What's up, Marco? Maybe super you want some more action today? Of course I want some action. I want all the action every day. All the action. I don't lay down for nobody. All right. Shot. Boom! Oh. Wow, what a putt. Got it, boy. Ugh. All right, the boys are dormy. They are one down with one to play. You guys are throwing in darts. I got uh, 82 left. Let's see if I can get on top of them. Oh, it's right at it. If it's the right distance. Oh, my. It almost went in. Almost went in. <laughs> 220. He's going to take the driver iron out of the sand. Get the lip. When you're in one of those bunkers and you have a long iron or a, you know, rescue and you make contact and then the next thing you hear is the sound of the lip at impact. 
you're just praying that it doesn't get stuck in there. <laughs> I would say that's unplayable. <laughs> you guys gotta see this. Yeah, so that bunker out there is like 300 yards to get to, and you only really need like a 250 yard shot because it's going downwind and you don't really need driver. It's more like a three wood yard. There you guys have it. You stand up here, you don't have any idea where you're supposed to go, so thank God for the caddies. Everyone's trying to figure it out out here, guys. Make sure if it's your first time out here, you get a caddy, spend the extra hundred bucks. It's well worth it. I mean, this place is uh, jaw dropping. Definitely uh, living up to its reputation. It's just a uh, absolute rustic beauty. You're gonna come out here, you're gonna make some big numbers. It's, it's windy, it's full exposure. You know, we're not used to Lynx style, so you just have to embrace it, but I love it. I mean, this is uh, it's a really special place and really great to be enjoying it with you guys, obviously, so. Uh, it's pretty sweet. I love it. Yeah. All right. Nice, dude. nice, nice bird. Give myself a whistle. That was a big drive. Woo! Yeah, I was about 335 right there. I went to the extra gear. So <laughs> you, you walk up to that tee box and you think, oh, no big deal. 330, 340 yards. Just rip one up there. That bunker is, you put in that bunker, you're guaranteed bogey. That yeah. thing is nasty. I think Marco and I just showed that. Yeah, we just... sure did. Man, that was nasty, yeah. So well-designed hole, I give it to the architect, whoever it is. Uh, good job on that one. And nice birdie by Biski. Go, 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 go. These guys both hit monster 350 yard drives. They have 115, 120 yards left, I would guess. And B's coming up now. Now just over the flag stick, little spin, nice shot. Ooh, yeah, that was really well done. Oh, B hit this right at the pin. Look at this. This looks great. Oh, oh partner. Almost dunked shot. it. What a shot. What a golf shot. Yeah. So ripped a drive up here, but still got 272 left. Uh, wind is right in our grill, so I'm um, gonna rip a three wood, but probably gonna be a little short. Oh yeah, he pump skied that one. There we go. Oh, yeah. Great poupon. Little great poupon. Pardon me, sir. <laughs> do you happen to have any great poupon? Well, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a putt. It's a grinder bogey. <laughs> Good five. Gosh, they take some two months to set this place up for 100,000 people a day. We just played the, the hole that you walk right by, the par three, I think it's 16. And they're slamming 20 to 25,000 people. And Brian's told me he's seen as many as 40,000 people in the back area just piling up behind the green where they don't even have stands. So uh, pretty uh, exciting electric tournament to go to if you ever want to go to the waste management. How amped up would you be to have 25,000 people just surrounding you on this hole? I mean, my adrenaline would just be pumping. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're home. Woo! Woo! What do you think of that, buddy? That's it, two for three. Two. <laughs> Brian's jacked up. He just had a great shot in here. Oh! oh. Almost went in. So Brian's back there. He just missed that bunker on the high side, obviously. And uh, he's gonna hit his approach shot in right now. We're trying to keep the pace of play, so we're kind of moving ahead of him. Right. He's saying be right. I did not see where it landed, but he felt good about it, so we'll see. Oh That's somebody's putter. Oh, wow. Serious? What an asshole, whoever did that. And then does it fix it? Come on, man. So while he fixes that up, I'm gonna show you guys some great shots in here. Here's where Brian ended up from probably 200. What'd you have, 190? 201, hit a four iron. Ball was a little bit above my feet. and Honestly, I pulled it a little bit. <laughs> I was actually aiming over here. Yep, that's where but, I was too. Uh, got away with it, got lucky. Great so, shot, dude. Thanks. So yeah, Brian's got like a little six, seven footer left here for birdie. And uh, <laughs> There's my shot. I honestly don't even know how it ended up there. It was coming in pretty hot from 200 yards, and uh, yeah, just, I am, I am beyond happy with that. That is amazing. 
Oh, this thing looks beautiful. Oh my gosh, what a golf shot. Yep, right at it again, all day long. A little left of the stick, pin high. Bisky has played awesome today, and uh, he's gonna try to finish strong, knock one up there on the green. Show the boys what's up. Oh yeah. You're right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, right. that's all over it. You're right. Come on, baby. That's my dog. That's it, baby. That's my <laughs> dog. <laughs> Love it. Everybody loves the all whistle. Right. I'm a right. water whistle because I didn't know if you were going to be here or not. <laughs> <laughs> I almost bought a whistle. Take <laughs> <Big> two. <laughs> Oh, we got that one on camera. Son, Jeff, hold him. All square through 35 holes if you count our Tory Pines about six <laughs> weeks ago, mm. so it's coming down to 18. Yeah, yeah <laughs> let's do this. Dang. Bingo. Dang! <laughs> That's how you make four from over there, Junior. Oh. Woo, Merry God. Christmas, boys. No, that, was, that was a great time. All even through 36, just the way I like it. <laughs> We're, we're like really trying out here, people. This is not easy. <laughs> oh, Dude, what are the odds of that? Never happens. Yeah. He was throwing a tee to see. It's gonna be a good day for me. I can't Who it points to? On the bounce. Okay, Marco. All right. Me. All right, me and Bisky. That's it. Right there. Yeah. Like that. That's my partner. So that was something Yeah, else. did we shut him out? <laughs> <laughs> Making magic. Love it. Oh, nice pipe B. Well done, well done. B with a little birdie right there. Mm. <laughs> Get in. Oh!